Hello, Todd Owens from the HPE team here at Cavium with you. And today, I want to explain to you what Universal RDMA is and why it's important to you and your HPE customers. If we look at networking I.O., we can speed up the performance of the network by reducing the latency. One way to do this is by implementing Remote Direct Memory Access, or RDMA, using RDMA-enabled I.O. adapters. RDMA speeds up application by bypassing the software kernel in the host OS and allowing I.O. transactions to be executed directly between the adapter and the application memory. There are different kinds of RDMA protocols, each with different benefits and challenges. Uh, now, RDMA over converged Ethernet, or Rocky, as its name implies, requires converged or lossless Ethernet to work and provide the lowest latency of all the RDMA protocols. However, because Rocky requires lossless Ethernet, this means it can be susceptible to congestion issues relating to pause frames, making scalability beyond one or two hops a challenge. Now, Rocky V2, also known as Routable Rocky, adds IDP UDP headers to each of the packets, making them routable across subnets. But again, the scalability issues inherent to converged Ethernet still apply. iWARP is a third type of RDMA, and it's in use today and runs uh, over standard Ethernet topology without requiring lossless connectivity. It makes it suitable for scaling environments, however, the latency is slightly higher than that of Rocky implementations as a result. At Cavium, we believe that applications shouldn't have to decide on which type of RDMA protocol uh, they want to run on. Uh, thus, we invented a technology we call Universal RDMA. Uh, the HP adapters listed here support Cavium's Universal RDMA technology and can run both Rocky and iWARP concurrently. Let's take a look at a use case here. So we have a single adapter that supports either Rocky or iWarp, and that means one solution for different applications. And here we have a rack of servers, and maybe we run Rocky in this rack of servers because uh, all of those servers are on the same subnet. We don't have to really do any routing. Uh, but then as we have more racks and we need to move our I.O. between racks, we might want to consider using iWARP. Or if we want to connect across data centers, we definitely want to use iWARP for its uh, attributes of scalability. That means that now we have a single adapter that can be deployed in each of these servers and can connect to either one of the networks, either the Rocky network or the iWARP network. That's what we mean by Universal RDMA. Again, here's a look at those HPE adapters that support Universal RDMA from Cavium. Uh, we have the uh, 10G base T option, the 521T, and then two of the uh, SFP28 options, the 621 and the 622 FLR. Now, these are supported in the Gen 10 servers, uh, both the ProLiant, uh, the DL, ML, and the Apollo uh, Gen 10 servers, and they're supported in all major OS environments and also have Microsoft Software Defined Data Center Premium Certification. So, if you have customers looking to go fast with low latency I.O., use RDMA and use HP and Cavium I.O. adapters to make it universal and support both Rocky or iWARP implementations in the same adapter. Well, that's it for this edition of Intelligent I.O. Matters. Thanks for your time and your attention. And if you have any questions or need any help, please reach out to us via email, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Have yourself a wonderful rest of your day.